leather cases for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, up next. Welcome and thanks for watching. I'm Ray and if you're new to the channel, please do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell to get notified when I post new content and give this video a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. So next to clear cases, leather cases are a very close second to my favorite cases that I pick up for my iPhones every year. And what's great about leather is not only the feel in hand, but they're also very versatile. It's a very versatile material to work with. Um, and all the cases that I'm going to take a look at today have a wallet offering in one way or another, be it via MagSafe or built into the case itself. So we have a few leather cases to take a look at. So let's jump right into it and start with the unboxing and fitting them on the phone. And this is the leather case lineup we're going to take a look at today. We have offerings from Apple, One Top, Bocasal, Case Defy, and one of my other favorites, Wujo. And I'm going to go ahead and stack these aside because we're going to take a look at the Apple case first. And this is the Apple leather case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max in golden brown. And I really picked this color because I thought it would accentuate the Sierra Blue really nicely. And this one is MagSafe compatible. So let's go ahead and open this up. And let's take a look at the case. And Apple does a really great job with its leather cases. You can see the Apple logo stamped in there. Nice generous opening for the camera. The buttons are metallic and easy to push and very responsive. Openings for ports and speakers and the inside is a nice um, suede feeling material. And there's the indication of the MagSafe compatibility. And again, Apple does leather really nice and this is a great color. And I think it'll accentuate again the Sierra Blue iPhone really well. Let's go ahead and put the phone in there. And since it's MagSafe compatible, you can see there is the MagSafe indication. And as I said, I think that blue really looks nice in this golden brown leather case. Good looking case, doesn't add much bulk. Um, feels really good in the hand. Again, the metallic buttons are really easy to click and they're very tactile. Enough protection for the cameras. So your phone is well protected, whether you place it face down or on its back. And this is a straightforward case. And if you wanted to make it a wallet case, Apple also offers the leather wallet accessory for this. And this is also MagSafe compatible. This can, now this wallet can be used with and or without the case. So you can use this straight on the phone since it's MagSafe compatible. Um, or along with a leather case or one of those uh, silicon cases, also the clear case. Anything that's MagSafe compatible, you can use this wallet with. And you can fit up to two, three cards in here, two cards really, three, you're kind of pushing it and you can't fit three though because the leather will stretch to conform to at least up to three cards. Again, it's MagSafe compatible, so you just pick it on back and you also get the indication. And this is a really nice combination if you really want a leather wallet and a leather case for your iPhone. This is a good choice. Can't go wrong with the Apple leather case. And again, I really like the feel of the leather and the stitching around the wallet and it just feels good in the hand. And if you have, say, like a MagSafe mount in your car, you can just remove the wallet and place this right on the MagSafe mount. So let's go ahead and try on some of the others. And obviously, I'm not even going to test this one because this is a MagSafe uh, case, but you can use this with the charger, again, wallet or Apple battery pack. Either will fit on the case itself because they're MagSafe. And of course, the MagSafe charger. Next, let's take a look at the case from one top. This looks like a black leather case. I'm going to take this one out. And the leather on this one is quite a bit different than the Apple leather. It's a bit more shinier and has a, 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 a shinier sheen on it. And it looks like there's leather on the back. Now this isn't a full leather wallet or a case like this one. Seems to be leather on the back and on the sides here. The case itself seems to be a black TPU. And See how that looks on the phone. Nice sleek case, black. If you like black and something stealthy, this might be the case for you. 
looks nice on the phone. Buttons are clicky. Buttons are plastic. Uh, you can easily reach the mute switch on there. Uh, power button. Opening for ports and speakers on the back. There is a nice lip on the front so that your phone is protected. You place it screen down. And on the back there's extra padding because there is a wallet hiding behind this flap. You just open it up and there you have a wallet. Place for, looks like three cards, maybe money here, ID card or whatever here. You can push it up. There's a slot here so you can remove your cards easily. It's like metallic button clips on there. And if you wanted, you could also have it half open and use it as a stand. So you can use it as a stand so you can watch video, stream, whatever. And this is a nice kind of complete solution. And then you can protect all your cards again by closing the flap and these metallic buttons. That's a nice straightforward leather wallet case. Cards are protected. Anything you have in there is protected. That's a cool solution for a wallet case. Kind of jet black with a slight shiny sheen on there. Cool, let's move on. This next case is from Bocasel. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly. And this is more of a folio type case, as I can see. And it has the same thing, large card capacity kickstand function, portable design, and front magnetic enclosure. Let's take this one out. Okay, this also has a strap if you want to have a strap on your case as well, a hand strap so it won't from, fall from your hand or you can secure it that way. And a little, here's a area, I think the opening where you put the strap, let's go ahead and put that on there. So you have the strap, a little phone case, let's move this aside. I'm gonna put the phone in there. And again, this is pretty similar to the one previous. Um, I actually believe these two might be done by sister companies. So there's an outside kind of leather folio, and this is a dark, deep, almost mahogany, reddish brown leather. Not as shiny as the black there, although there is a bit of a shiny sheen to it. Feels good in the hand. This, your phone is really well protected in this magnetic closure. There's a leather on the sides, but the case itself seems to be a black TPU as well. Buttons, again, are as clicky and responsive as this case before it. Actually looks really nice in there. And then you have uh, places for your ID and your cards. This acts like a wallet and a large area here for money or whatever else. I have a lot of receipts in my wallet um, when I carried a full wallet, so that's probably would be in here. Some cash, I didn't carry a lot of cash, but everything else would fall in here, tickets, whatever. And again, room for at least three cards, probably more. There are holes in the front here, so if you wanted to use it as a phone, you can close it and still listen through here. So again, buttons are clicky. You have to fold it back really if you want to use the volume buttons and reach the mute switch. Openings for ports and speakers as always. And then if you didn't really want to use the folio, say you just wanted to use this as a straight case, you could remove the folio and just have a leather case. That's a cool app option to have. It's magnetic as well on the back so that that's how this stays on there. And you can just use it as straight leather case with or without the folio attachment. And if you want to use the folio, you could as well. So that's a fun solution. If you needed something a little bit more, if you really wanted to be on the go, you can just use it as, again, just a leather case. You want to bring more, you want to bring a wallet or have a wallet solution, place the phone in there. And you have the whole wallet folio solution. And you can also, I believe, use this as a stand. So if you wanted to watch um, movies, it folds in two places here. And then you can just stream 
or what have you, movies or whatever. And you kind of have a stand there, a kickstand. Okay, close everything up and it's all secure. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And the next case we have is from Casetify. And Casetify makes great cases. I take a look at their cases. I try to every year. Um, and this is their leather case offering. And I, I've taken a look at Casetify cases in a, in a earlier video, in a previous video. So if you want to take a look at more Casetify cases, um, I'll post a link up here and in the description below. So here we have the Casetify leather case. And this is a black leather, a lot more grain to this leather than say the apple case and these other two. As you can see, it's really nicely textured. Nice texture on that case. Um, the buttons are like the apple, they actually stick out more, but they are metallic as well. So they should be very tactile and responsive. Nice big bezel for your camera and the Case Defy logo going across the camera bezel. That's a feature of all Case Defy cases, and you know you have a case from Case Defy. I'll put the phone in there. Black leather cases, you can't go wrong with them. It looks great with that blue phone as well. Feels really good in the hand. Again, doesn't add much bulk like the Apple leather case. These add quite a bit of bulk because of, of the extra um, wallet features for these. This one is nice and simple and it's a good looking case nice looking leather case from case to five and again since it's um magsafe compatible you can use the magsafe battery pack or the charger and it should work just fine you could also use the leather wallet um, if you have Apple's leather wallet, I have a black one from a previous one. I could use that one with this, or I could use this new one that I have. But Casetify does make its own leather wallets because since the, the leather texture doesn't match, if you want something to match this leather case more closely, Casetify does, does offer um, leather wallet for their cases. Nice straightforward case. Nice, again, generous slip on the front to keep your screen protected and generous camera bezel to keep your cameras protected as well. It's a good looking case from Casetify. Now, the last other case we'll take a look at will be the Mujo case. So before we go on, uh, on the Mujo case, let me go back and, and check compatibility with MagSafe accessories on these walls. I'm pretty sure the the, uh, the charger won't work, but let's see. You know, it's actually adhering, but it's not charging. Well, it's adhering because the case itself is magnetic, but yeah. You won't be able to charge with this. Now, if you remove it from here, out there. So it does work, but you have to remove it from the folio itself. Oh. Now I'm curious with this other one too. So MagSafe charging will not work with this leather case, and this one was the one top leather case. But it will work with this case if we remove the folio. Okay, now let's go ahead and go on and hit this Mujo. And this is the Mujo a leather wallet case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I really do enjoy taking a look at Mujo's leather cases every year. This one is in a tan color. 
and Fuji always has great packaging, great presentation. It says Mujo made with high quality full grain vegetable tanned leather that ages beautifully as it becomes part of your life. Design in the Netherlands. So much great about this leather case and you know all these other especially the apple leather cases they over time they will form its own patina so no two leather cases will be exactly the same just because of that characteristic as you can see this is a wallet case so there is a place for one card now i've had mujo wallet cases in the past and you can fit two cards comfortably three cards if you kind of push it because the, le the leather will stretch to accommodate three cards but two cards really comfortably you could fit in here and that tan is different from the golden brown um, but it is a nice looking brown and i think it really accentuates that sierra blue iphone nicely this is a nice color nice color combination i think it's a good looking case so these buttons here are, are kind of pressed, uh, embossed uh, buttons, and they are easy to click, very responsive. And this leather feels really good without adding additional bulk. Openings for ports and speakers, and a nice generous camera bezel. And your camera is gonna be nicely protected when you place your phone face down. In this case, since there is kind of this extra flat for the wallet, will lay flat. I don't see any rocking on that one. So if you want a lay flat leather case, get this Mujo. Again, you can fit cards back there and there is a generous front lip. So your phone is also protected if you place your phone face down. Let's see if it is MagSafe charger compatible. Yep, it will charge. Um, though I would guess, depending on how many cards you have on there, it probably isn't the best. If you have cards in here, probably not a good idea to try and charge it magnetically and battery pack will work as well but you have to hold it on there again your mileage will vary if you have cards back there nice nice leather case from Lujo that looks really good so that is the leather case lineup this year for the iPhone 13 Pro Max um, we have Apple's case one top Bocasau case defy and always a favorite Lujo so what is your favorite leather case for your iPhone 13 or 13 Pro Max? Let me know in the description below. And if you actually like one of these, let me know that, know that as well. And I'll keep in mind to take a look at their future offerings. Um, and that's going to do it for this video. So until the next one, please take care and be safe out there.